What's up, YouTube? We got, I would guess, another three weeks worth of Motown mail. I never actually check until I post the video, so I'm guessing it's about three weeks worth of, uh, of, of crap. Uh, first off, I always think it's corny when people act like they're cool because they're drinking beer, so I decided to bust out my Keystone Light shirt and uh, show you guys that I'm a man and I'm drinking orange shandy from Lightning Kugels, so... Bottoms up, huh? Um, by the way, that is good beer, though. Never had orange shandy before, you need to try it. Whew! Good stuff. Anyway, here's what I got. Oh, by the way, I had another uh, pipe burst in the house on the 23rd, right before I left for a business trip. So that was fun. Um, another thousand dollar deductible. Uh, so that's that's always a good time. Uh, same spot again. Here's my current uh, family room. Still, nothing's changed. Had more water there. It's all dried up now. By the way, I don't have my normal camera stand, so I'm using a Kleenex. A 800 count box, a binder of cards, and uh, eight coasters, two different variations of coasters. So that's what I'm holding this camera up, hoping it's not, not going to topple over. Anyway, that deserves another swig, huh? Good stuff. Um, got a couple balls for the whole thing. Ball PC. Uh, two of the new Hall of Famers. Didn't have them on balls yet. First off, Bobby Cox. I got Cox on a ball. Cox on a ball. So that's nice. It's It's got um, pea stains all over it. Uh, I got this for 16 bucks shipped because of the pea stains. So I just think the pea stains give it character. So I'm not too worried about the pea stains. As long as the signature's good, clean, no smears, and has you know strong signature, I'm, I'm a happy camper. My mantle's all pissed on too, so it's all good. Um, here's another one. It has a little bit of toning. Um, beautiful signature. Story about this one, it's actually the person I bought it from had Joe Torre throw him this ball and then he asked him to sign it. So this is actually a spring training practice ball that Joe Torre threw to him and had it signed. So nice little backstory on that. Uh, I had a TTM success from Torre years ago, probably a good decade ago, and I sent him a crappy ball and of course the signature faded and I think I ended up selling it for like five bucks or something. So I needed a, a new Torre. So I got that. Um, I do have a, a La Russa, however, um, it's on a crappy ball, but the signature's decent on it, so I'm still in the market for an official Major League, um, or American League ball of 20 La Russa or National League, obviously. Um, so yeah, those are the balls for the week. Um, next, uh, no order at all. A 1990 score pickup, pretty happy about this, haven't even taken it off the cardboard yet. Mike Scott, um, diamond, or, um. Dream Team, so that's pretty cool. Not a real easy autograph to get. Um, so very happy to add that to the 90 score set. Uh, this is a cool TTM success. It's got a nice little letter here. Um, it says, Dear Philip, thank you for your letter to Mr. Giuliani. And close, please find the autograph photo you sent to the office to be signed. You can continue to support. Princess Nini's going to have to wait. Um, please find the uh, autograph photo you sent to our office to be signed. Your continued support it means a great deal. They have best wishes. And a real nice, I sent this 8x10. To Rudy Giuliani uh, signed it with the inscription uh, all the best of health and success Rudy Giuliani uh, so that's nice <laughs> um, I asked for a lengthy inscription didn't get it but I'm a happy camper with that um, moving on I got this actually let me take this call she called twice maybe someone's wrong Okay, kids, I'm back. It was an emergency. Princess just wanted to tell me that the uh, adjuster is coming out on Saturday for the new claim. Apparently, she needed to tell me that immediately because she called right back. But anyway, bottoms up to that, huh? Ah, nothing better than the, that bank account as low as possible. Anyway, I got a good steal on this. This is from 2013 SPX. Um, rookie Jersey Auto. Rookie fake jersey auto, number 475, Giovanni Bernard. That's pretty cool. I got a steal on that. I got that for like less than 10 bucks, I think. So that's, I think those go for a lot more than that. Not a lot more, but a decent amount. Um, let's see here. I made a trade on sportscollectors.net for some 2013 pro debuts I got in person. I ended up getting a James Russell. Didn't have a James Russell autograph yet for the Cubs collection. And a couple of CJ Edwards from Topps Heritage Miners. It's going to be a stud. 48th round pick. It's amazing that each team passed on him 47 times in what year? 2012, I think. 
2011. So, dude's going to be a stud. Uh, did a 50-50, someone. Didn't get a lot of them done, but did get these. Uh, first off, Mitch Hanniger, I got four of these. These were cards I get, were just hoping to get signed in Beloit, but Hanniger, I think, got promoted. So, got a nice four cards of Mitch Hanniger now. Uh, this one's really nice. I sent him four cards, and he sent, sent them all back. One of them unsigned, but I did get three of them signed. I got Jorge Soler. Uh, this one right here. And this one right here, so that's nice. Because when, I, when I'm when i at Soler, he was always signing at J. Carlo, so it's nice to actually get some J. Soler autos now. Uh, and because of the weight, um, he, he included this nice certified auto from um, Ginter, Alan Ginter of Neftalium Feliz. It's a nice looking card. Um, I got this for a dollar four. I couldn't believe. I, I think they go for more than a dollar four. It's a Paul O'Neill on card auto from '98, I think '97, Donruss Signature Series. Beautiful autograph of Paul O'Neill. Dollar four. That's. I couldn't believe I got it for that price, but whatever. Uh, some pretty exciting uh, '90 score editions. Quite a few. I got six, and three of them are good. Um. First off, my favorite one, one of the toughest in the set to get, George Brett. So, good. nice to knock off George Brett. Um, Rafael Palmero, period. Uh, real nice Tom Gwab. This is a actually a rookie signature. Um, it's got a slight smear on it, but I ended up trading a, a, a side-paneled Tom Glavin ball for that, so... Uh, and then I also got Ron Darling. That's a vintage signature, too. His signatures change a lot from that, but that is a, an authentic vintage signature. Got Rick Aguilera. And Tony Pena. So that's nice. And also, the guy that I traded the uh, Glavin for included this Nate Robertson Bible card with a streaky signature, but it was a freebie, so that was cool. Uh, next, this is a, actually a redemption. I think I got it for like a dollar or two, and then I redeemed it. it. took like, of course, like six or seven months to get, uh, Martin Gortat, autograph from Panini Signatures. Uh, next, I picked this up for, I think, five bucks. I thought I had a steal on it, and then I realized, then I looked up the sold listings, and apparently they always sell for that much. 2013 Triple Threads, Jersey, fake Jersey auto of Jordan Zimmerman, number to 99. I don't know what kind of jersey that's from, but whatever. Uh, and on my little business trip up north, I busted a rack pack of uh, absolute memorabilia football. Got this hog heaven Christian Michael rookie. And then I did get a jersey card of Landry Jones. Very excited about that. I think that deserves a drink, huh? Um, and then I bought a box of Bowman Platinum. Having this beard gets the beer on your mustache. It's kind of nifty. Anyway, um, nothing real exciting. Uh, Joe Maurer, die cut. You don't care. Chris Medlin, I don't know, Ruby something. Darren Ruff, gold. Cole Hamels, gold. None of them are numbered. Uh, I got a nice yeah, Seal Puig top prospects. I was excited until I saw they sell for like a dollar and a quarter. Uh, one pack actually did yield two autographs. Uh, one being a redemption of Jeff Ames, who already had already uh, redeemed that. And I also had a Will Swanner, Swanner autograph. Fortune scratches all over that one, but it's like another dollar autograph, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. So uh, that's it. That's all I got for now, guys. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, please stay safe and stay dry and warm.